choke, no joke. Cheeky choke, no joke. Choke, no joke. Cheeky choke, no joke. Yeah, now. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Talisha Renee joined the choke, no jokesters. Membership gang. All right. Delisha Renee, I appreciate you joining the gang, gang, gang. Alexander Gray, first up in the building. Crystal Hope. Next up, my man, Badlands, Philly. Ba Philly? Oh, Badlands. What's up with your mans, bro? Badlands, come talk to me, man. What's up with your little brother, Meek Mills, man? You gotta talk to me, Philly. Bad Lance. What's up with your little man? Bad Lance. What's up with your little man? Meek Mills. What is he doing out here? Oh, Bad Lance. Oh. <laughs> What is up, man? What is up? Joke, no joke. We in the building. Y'all already know it's part two tonight. All right. Mike Miggity, what up? Mike Miggity in the building. All right. CC Crippin, I see you. I got them fragrances blowing in here. All right. Ran through it all. Anointed hands, need to be. Jay Sinatra. All right. Jeevo Ron. Mix Wells, Charlotte in the building. Michelle Jensen already knowing, tiptoeing in. I see you. Membership gang, original choke, no jokes to Agent Nine in the building. Tom Fix, what up? Judo 12, what up? All right, Miss A. Matthews, hey, boo, what's going on with you? Lennon Briggins, what up? Need a B, I see you. Membership gang member choke, no jokes. The cinnamon in the building. Tasha today, I see ya. I right, whack on wood, check it in. St. Louis is in here. All right, you already know. My fellow Americans, salute. <laughs> choke, no joke, man. Oh, man, y'all already know. We are. Yeah, let me just say this before I get this show started tonight. I'm starting to feel vindicated with all this stuff coming out. You know, I struggled through this entertainment business for almost 30 years because I wanted to succumb to homosexuality. I told y'all all these niggas that's popping, these women, that they have succumbed to it. And a lot of y'all didn't believe me. I was just a hater. Oh, you just bad. You broke. You want to be a part of it. I told y'all. We discussed what they coined the frames, the Nori doors. I told y'all. I told y'all way back when I did an interview with Doggy. Way back. I told y'all. That was years ago. Many of y'all remember that. The interview I did with the plum suit on. Y'all remember me sitting on the bench. I told y'all way back then. I've been telling y'all before YouTube, right? So now that y'all is finally seeing it 30 years later, middle fingers to all y'all that told me that I was just a hater. And it's just starting. It's just starting. You been y'all been hearing the rumors about Puff for years, years, and to a lot of y'all, it was always oh, just hate. Y'all wouldn't believe the rumors. Y'all just think it's just Puff. Y'all don't think the the, the Jay Z's and all these others peoples are ain't ain't in the circle. Y'all got it twisted. So yes, yes. Yes, I feel vindicated. I'm not happy to see, you know, all these crazy allegations come out. I don't want nobody named to be slandered, but but 
when you get blackballed in this industry because niggas can't put their black balls on you and they come from the same ghettos and and situations and neighborhoods as you just because they can't I'm not gonna curse just because they can't put their frank in your back pocket or in your jaws this now for me is like the the the, the, the best time ever like because all the time that i've been telling you all the times i walked in rooms that have to be uncomfortable all the times that the niggas I had to deal with that thought they was better than me just because they fucking uh, succumbed to homosexuality, but they got to get the perks of uh, seeing multi-millions and ain't as half as talented as I am, but they got to be in these circles because they let niggas touch on them. And I guarantee you, if Puff hit a courtroom with any of these cases, it's all going to start spilling out. So all you niggas that thought you was the shit because a nigga put his thing in your shit, y'all niggas is all about to be exposed. It's all going to come out. And I'm waiting to see who's going to be the... the, the uh, man enough to not be trying to act like meek mills right now with all these deflecting he doing on twitter and just come out and be like yo you know what yo this was what was going on behind the scenes i know you sworn to secrecy but one of y'all gonna crack and say yo this is all was true yes we all been playing sodom and gomorrah for years for decades and if you wasn't going, coming in Sodom and Gomorrah, you kept your ass out of there. Stay your ass over in Jerusalem. Uh, uh, metaphorically speaking. And don't think this is going to end with just men getting out it. All you women executives that made these little girls uh, go lesbian for your benefit because you had power to put them on shows. Y'all going to get y'all time too. Y'all going to get y'all time too. Choke, no joke. I'm here, man. My documentary is out. The Hip Hop Nucleus out on Tubi, Amazon Prime, Apple TV, a couple of other outlets. Y'all make sure y'all go stream that. Choke no joke, let's get the show started. Let me pull up the paperwork. Here's a nice little preview of the hip hop nucleus for you. All right, choke no joke, check this out. I'll be back right after this trailer. One time there was a shootout in a tunnel. Yo, niggas started busting guns. The place was going nuts, and Mark Murray said, go in there and tell Flex to start playing some ladies' tunes and tone it down. And as I run in there to get in the DJ booth, boom, 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 boom. Some niggas started shooting. Shots are fired up against the brick wall right near the main bar. I'm seeing the niggas shooting. They rushing everybody out. This nigga go run out. Big Cap grabbed me. We all went down under the booth. Shootouts, fights, everything happened in the motherfucking tunnel. Like, it was just crazy, but we still came back. I don't know why, but we did. We loved it. It was fucking crazy. It was incredible. I've seen a lot of people get busy. You know, I'm going to say, I know my man Nori and them used to regulate, and I know we used to regulate. Nori had you home. 
Every time they in the building, something jumping off the murder unit, nigga. In the tunnel, I seen rappers get smacked, like literally, like by niggas that was like, shit, I don't give a fuck who you are. What tie, whole lot. Get the fuck out of here. I don't fuck you make records, nigga. Like, man, I seen, <laughs> I seen niggas get chased around the tunnel, my nigga. Like, oh my gosh, yo. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna pull niggas, I ain't gonna put niggas on front street like that. Puff came in there, thought he was big man. Dot, dot, dot. My man Tyson came through. Excitement got that on tape. That nigga ran out the DJ booth like a bitch. Took off like motherfucking Carl Lewis. Everybody wanted to get that Diddy. Diddy was fly. You know they wanted to get it. It wasn't even Diddy then, it was Puff. One girl was with somebody. She was hanging out with some dude, man. They beat that nigga unconscious. I mean, they just jumped down on the stage and I mean, just put the boot to this nigga, man. I mean, he just, just stretched him out in the hallway and just left him. She's screaming, you know what I mean? Help him, we trying to help this nigga lifeless. I mean, they done beat the blood out this nigga. He just stretched. I watched Mob Deep come off the stage performing and they man, the God's son robbed him right at the bar because they didn't wait for him to come in with him. I beat up a couple of niggas in the tunnel. Statue of limitations is up on them crimes anyway. Yeah, niggas been poked up in all types of shit. He walking out with stand, you know, this nigga bleeding on my shit. Like, I'm laughing now because as I reminisce about it, you got me thinking about shit was really funny, but shit was really real and wicked. Freaky Ty, God bless the dead, man, but Freaky Ty, them niggas used to, them niggas used to get it in, B. Lost Boys. I'm, I'm gonna move them to the top of the list. Cause they used to get their asses whipped on the regular. Lost Boys, them niggas was just, yo, yeah, yo, yeah. I've seen, I've actually seen Lost Boys get thrown out the tunnel. Not meant to be trouble, you know what I'm saying? Oh, it's just we roll deep, you know what I'm saying? We just wanted to get everybody in, you know, man. Them was the knucklehead niggas. Kinda hard to control a bunch of dudes, you know what I'm saying? That's just hype, you know what I'm saying? We was LB fam, you know what I mean? We, they always doing the street team type thing. We just promoting, I don't know, man. But Wu, security and Wu used to get it in. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh what artists gave the tunnel security most problems? Wu-Tang Clan. One night, it was a night of the Source Awards. We had an all-out brawl with Wu-Tang. One dude cut O's arm. O was bleeding. O pulled out, pulled out his weapon. And um, he had one in the chamber. We tried to put another one in the chamber and jammed it. And that's, that's what saved that guy. Black Rob, man. Black Rob used to test security. We would always get into it with Anthony Mason because, you know, he would come from the Knicks, you know, he played with the Knicks, you know, he had that paper, he'd come in there, get drunk. Thought he was wildebeest and we had to put them paws up on him. The nigga Drez, alcoholic, I've seen him getting tossed out. I might got the most beef with securities on them days. My attitude was just horrible. A lot of beef is over chicks. My man P and Keith, I know both of them, so don't take no offense to this. Mom Deep did the, the second album, Infamous, and he had an acapella, or he had a talk about, yo, these rappers talking all that space shit. And then Keith Murray took it on his thing, like, yo, you talking about me? Because I be talking that space shit. Then he seen him at the tunnel outside right around here. Put it on him, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know exactly what happened afterwards, but I know that Keith put it on Pete, you know what I'm saying? Joke, no joke. If you want to see the rest of that, you're going to be right. Well, not after the show, because <laughs> I'm just starting. The show just started. But uh, y'all go check that out on Tubi, Amazon Prime, Apple TV. You know what it is. Choke No Joke, the hip-hop nucleus, the documentary on the legendary Tunnel Nightclub in New York City. Make sure y'all stream that. Support your boy. We got the membership gang in here, man. The machine. What up? What up? What's good? What's good? Bad Lance. What's up with your man, Meek Mill, man? Philly, y'all got to talk to me. What's up with Meek Mill? He, he, he's, he's spazzing out on Twitter right now. Let's see if we can pull up his tweets.
He was number one trending. Diddy's back up number one. No, Meek is down. No, Meek is still up there. Meek is number three. But uh, all right, let's pull up Meek Mills. Twitter. So 37 minutes ago, he typed this ish off to 12 to tap in with my supporters. It's out of three groups that's doing these type campaigns. When I found out we're going to take them to war for trying to stop my family wealth. Something never seen before will happen in the industry, even if I got to risk my life for it. I'm the average move. I'm the average move him out the way type of thing. Now y'all see how bad they want to stop you when you drop independent music that's going to get played regardless and make millions. A whole campaign the day before I drop, I'll be crushing this internet ish too easy. Ha ah. ha. I see how they call this nigga Twitter fingers. This thing is tweeting like every five, ten minutes. Okay, I'm back to Philly first. I need to rush. Ha! Now I'm just going to keep them talking, talking to 12. My new shit dropped. Tap in. Y'all really want me to go full heathenism, huh? Heathenism. See, this is why Philly, y'all got to talk to me and tell him to shut up, right? If your name, if you, this nigga, he's not smart, bro. This thing is not smart. His new album is called Heathenism. And you got allegations of sleeping with Diddy. You don't think we know where heathenism come from? Heathenism come from hedonism. Do y'all understand where hedonism is? Let me pull it up for y'all. For y'all who may not know where hedonism is. Let me show y'all what hedonism is. He's telling on himself. He named this album Heathenism. (laughs) Look, Heathenism 2, Jamaica All-Inclusive Resort. The best things in life are experiences. Are you curious? It's finally time to visit the world's most iconic adult playground. Ready to mingle? What are you waiting for? Book with sexy specials. Look, sexy specials. Three way, your way. Girlfriends play away. 
The playroom is open to couples, single women. So if he's talking hedonism, right? Hedonism is the belief that pleasure or the absence of pain is the most important principle in determining the morality, a potential course of action. Pleasure can be things like sex, drugs, and rock and roll, but it can also include interest. I don't know what that word is. Intrinsic, intrinsic. What the fuck is this word? Valuable experience like reading a good book. Intrinsic. What the hell you pronounce that? Intrinsic Intrinsicality. Intrinsicality. Uh, by natural character in itself. How do you pronounce that? Intrinsically. 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 Anywhere. Heathenism. Let him fool you if he want. We know what that means. Heathenism. Hey, I bet that ain't even, let's look up that word, heathenism. Sure sound like heathenism to me. <laughs> Heathenism. Let's see what that means. A belief or practice of heathens. <laughs> Barbaric morals or behavior. Uh, duh. Heathenism definition in American English Collins. Heathenry does not have a unified theology, but is a typically polysthetic centering on a pantheon of I'm so confused. I don't know what none of this means. Y'all gonna have to help me out with this one here. And unless you know Meek is really into some uh, weird shit to be choosing his title for his album. Now, what does this mean? What are the beliefs of those beliefs of heathenism? Heather and thee does not have a unified theology, but is typically polysthetic, centering on a pantheon of, what is this, Daytites from pre Christian Germanic Europe. 
it adopts cosmological views from these past societies, including an animistic view of the cosmos in which the natural world is imbued with spirits. Man, what they done did to this nigga? This nigga from Philadelphia. What do he know about this, bro? I'm to me, I'm reading gibberish. What is an example of the heathen? The term is tied to the gods of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Someone who rejects the various god of Hinduism, Hinduism, Hinduism. For example, it's not likely to be called a heathen. Heathens are sometimes called infidels and pagans. These days, the term is often used humorously, and atheists might jokingly refer to herself as a heathen. So he said he don't fucking believe in God. He's low key saying he's a devil, a Judism, a Judas. Am I, is that what I'm hearing? These days, the term is often used humorously, and the atheist might jokingly refer to herself as a heathen. A atheist don't believe in God, don't believe in shit. So now he's a heathen? He running around with these devils. Yo, y'all don't be believing nothing, man. This should be play. Yeah, nigga. Come get on the internet and talk to her. Tell us why you call yourself a heathen. What does being called a heathen mean? It's not religious. Heathen is a dated term used primarily of someone who is not religious or whose religion is not Judaism, Islam, or especially Christianity. It also sometimes used disapprovingly of someone who is not cultured. This is also this this use is also dated. So this nigga might be playing around in masonry and doing research and found out through some uh, teachers about being the heathen and not being being sacrilegious, but calling it uh, yourself a heathen. Do heathens believe in God? Like the adherents, adherents of the pre-Christian religious, they wish to intimate. Heathens are usually, what is this word? Polysthetic, believing in various gods and goddesses. Most heathens regard these divinities as having an independent existence, but some practitioners perceive them only as symbolic figures. So he don't worship God. Why do the heathen rage? King James Version, why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. This thing is a devil worshiper, allegedly. That's what this is, bro. What are the nine virtues of heathenry? Honor, knowledge, protect, flourish, change, fairness, conflict, balance, and control. Is heathenism a religion? Heathen, heathenry is a modern pagan new religious 
movement that has been active in the United States since at least the early 1970s. A modern pagan new religious movement. Who do pagans worship? Goddesses worship and central paganism. Pagans believe that nature is sacred and that the natural cycles of birth, growth, and death observed in the world around us carry profoundly spiritual meanings. Well, we would expect the uh, cover to be black and white after reading all that. I just said the, the whole Masonic shit. So this right here tells us exactly what we just read. If you uh, you got a third eye, you got knowledge yourself. You this nigga just told us everything we just think we just. Well, I was just researching, and I ain't even. Some just said, look up the album cover. There it is, right there. So we know what club you in now, buddy. You done told on your fucking self. So now we not supposed to believe these, these rumors about Diddy? Are you kidding me? We now not after you you named your album heathenism. And niggas don't want to believe you sold your soul to this shit and you're not doing no undercover uh homosexuality. You we so really supposed to believe that. Let's just jump back on his Twitter before I get back into these this this paperwork. Y'all gonna learn all these niggas out here selling their fucking soul. This nigga named what nigga from the from the what nigga you know from the hood ever say anything to you about heathenism? Have you ever heard of this word even before I said it? That heathenism got me looking up the resort. And now I even can see where that de de uh, derived from. Y'all tell me y'all ever heard a nigga in Philly talking around, walking around talking about heathenism? Yeah, right. Bullshit. It's the first time I have, and I ain't saying I'm the smartest motherfucker, but goddamn, I do a lot of research and I ain't never heard no black man use that word. I had to research it. Y'all see these rappers with gay styles. They want that look. Leave that to them. I come from the gangster shit. Surviving in the jungle. Nigga, please. That don't mean shit. When I got a girl around me, I'm effing her twice a day. Now, you know this nigga's guilty. Why you even got to say this? When I got a girl around me, I'm effing her twice a day. Ask some of your favorites. Coochie don't control me, but it's like a high. One, one love to the gay people, but that juicy coochie do it for me. I done ran red lights to get to that feeling. Y'all weird on here like the like devils. No, you weird, nigga. You ran red lights. That's nasty. You couldn't give her three or four days, five days tops. Like you trying to prove to us so much that you love coochie that you get on here 
and say you will hit a, a woman on her menstrual cycle because you love coochie that much, you ain't got self-control. You telling on yourself, brother. Eliminate anything toxic to the black culture immediately. Like y'all niggas, some coming to wanting to hang around Puff. Despite all the rumors you heard over all the years, y'all niggas go and you still hang with him and you get very few and far between people that come out and tell a truth. And as soon as niggas come out and tell, they crazy. Every black blog site enhanced that post. Why is this nigga goddamn posting so much, bro? That you tell me this ain't guilt? Niggas that ain't got no job don't post this much. Every black blog site enhanced that post to make me seem gay. I change laws for our people. I donate millions. What do that got to do with your sexuality, bro? You forgot you you came up on in front of the world. You remember we we saw you when you was a nappy headed kid with the braids, green from the from the streets, and they ain't know nothing about the industry. So you turn around and start dressing different, start having different mannerisms. Started having different body posture. Started hanging out with different crowds. Less of your niggas around. Bunny hopping. Let white men be all on you. Ain't nobody making you seem gay, bro. And you can't get mad at niggas out here for reporting what's public record. What you gonna run around and fight everybody on the internet? You gonna have beef with everybody on the internet? Because if it wasn't true, why the why are you so mad about it? Why you wanna fight and do stuff to people if it's not true? If it don't apply, let it fly. Every blog blog site enhanced that post to make me seem gay. Bro, the guy said that Puff said that he has sex with you. Now, that's a legend to everybody that's watching. But the guy said that. Ain't nobody making you seem nothing. The guy said Puff told him that he has sex with you. Y'all niggas get, y'all see this, this dude tell Fab, yo, you ain't never party with me. This, that, other. Uh, we know what party means. No, not party. You know what I mean, party, just me and you. You from the neighborhoods? You from the streets? Do we talk to each other like that? Because y'all make records, niggas stop talking to each other different? Ain't nobody making you seem nothing, bro. And y'all niggas need to start telling the truth. Start telling the truth. Nobody cares about your sexuality. You can sleep with who you want, but tell the truth. So the people that come behind you know that, yo, niggas going to try you. Niggas going to try you. Niggas try you in the music industry more than they try you in jail. Every black blog site enhanced that post to make it seem, make me seem gay. I change laws for our people. I donate millions. That has nothing to do with your sexuality. They are uh, fucking, uh, there's a bunch of gay people that donate money to charity and do stuff for people. 
They are designed to destroy the image of black leaders. It can't work with me though. You got to really kill me and I will still get bigger after death. This God, not me. Next, I'm gonna expose who's behind trying to kill the black image of the most influential artists. All the most influential artists have sold their soul to the devil and have succumbed to homosexuality or lesbianism or whatever fucking freakinism that y'all do. The reason that y'all succumb to that is because y'all were influential. Yes, y'all are influential. Because people ain't gonna believe to this day that y'all niggas play with each other. Which is fine. I don't care. But don't stop me from getting to the bag because I don't want to play in y'all reindeer games. But when this hit the courtroom, it's going to open up a whole world of shit. Watch. So if I was me, I would just shut up. Because this, all this stuff that he's doing, all this back and forth, ain't, ain't, ain't. It ain't making it look no better for him. YouTube creators target black celebrities with AI-made fake news. We have too much influence, Google, deep fake AI. I'm one of the most purest men in this shit you'll find out later. That's why, out later, that's the way it go. And y'all influential people have the power to remove stuff from Google. Y'all get the real, the truth scrubbed from Google. They don't want y'all streaming this independent music. Make sure you support. That's the real ish, not that clout. I will trash any celebrity if they tried to wild move on me. No pics literally go crazy then. Here's the doc. Let's go on trail live playing with my name find the page where my name mentioned and what date so i can get my credit card and show you the date where i was i don't even know that pussy but let's go to trail on here he didn't say your name he but he he uh gave her any window of who you was and your name was redacted. Come on, man. Stop playing, bro. These internet niggas be on. Now look at this. Look at look at the images. Heathenism. Look at the images. Niggas worship the devil. Look at all this evil shit. And we just looked up heathenism, so we know what it means. Let me get these images out your face. Just the goddamn devil worshippers. Niggas be selling their soul in a motherfucking booty hole.
Let me pull up this uh, lawsuit. Where were you at? Page 35. Yeah, I shot that fashion show uh, at Hedonism. That's how I know what the hell Hedonism is. So, all right. So, I left over, started here somewhere. Um, <laughs> they said dream chasing the heathenism. Hey, you want you want to be uh amongst hanging out with Jay-Z and Diddy and them niggas, nigga. You better think you're gonna be worshiping the motherfucking devil. Defendants have unlawfully increased their profits by lowering and deceiving producers, mu musicians, writers, creators, and artists such as plaintiffs to transport drugs. Yeah, I remember all the drugs. Ecstasy, cocaine, GHB, ketamine, uh, marijuana, and mushrooms. I don't know what ketamine is or ketamine is. I need to look that up. Let's see what kind of other drugs these motherfuckers is doing. God damn, that's some shit you shoot. Ketamine. Ketamine is a disassociative anesthetic used medically for induction and maintenance of anesthesia. It is also used as a treatment for depression and pain management. It is a noble compound that is de derived from phenocyte. Finn in 1962 in pursuant of a safer anesthetic with fewer hallucinate, uh, hallucinogenic effects. Why would people take that? You think he's putting themselves to sleep? It's a hallucinogenic effects. Yo, man, these things are some goddamn drug head, drug addicts, bro. Transport firearms, solicit minors, exotic dancers, sex workers, and to utilize their talents and labor to produce music and other tangible goods and services without compensation. The Rico Enterprise, which all defendants have engaged in, and activities of which affected the interstate and foreign commerce is compromised of an association in fact of persons included each defendant and other unnamed co-conspirators. That association in fact was structured by various contracts and non-contractual relationships between the defendants by which defendants assumed different roles in agreeing to carry it out a mail and wire fraud scheme to acquire drugs, firearms, prostitutes, minors, sex workers, and the labor of producers, 
musicians, writers, creators, artists, such as plaintiff, to utilize their talents and labor to produce music and other tangible goods and services without competition. The member, the members of this RICO It's, it's going to repeat the same thing over and over for a minute. Members of this RICO, upon information and belief, this RICO enterprise has existed for at least 20 years, dating back to 1999 club shooting in NYC where Mr. Combs required his then-girlfriend Jennifer Lopez to transport a legal firearm into the New York City nightclub. Mr. Combs forced his then artist Sean to assume responsibility for shooting of several individuals. Mr. Combs used his power, money, and influence to bribe jurors and witnesses, such as the friend of the shooting victim, Natanya Rubin, who reported to law enforcement that she saw Mr. Combs and not Sean pull the trigger and shoot her friend in the face. Natanya Rubin later testified at Mr. Combs' trial that she was trying she was tying her shoe and may not have seen who shot the gun. She later confessed that Mr. Combs paid her. Oh, they going back 20 years. So all y'all that was working for Puff for the last 20 years, your ass ain't in the clear, niggas. All y'all niggas there with from 99 up that sat, sat around and watched him do all this shit. Y'all may be getting pulled into this. The Rico Enterprise continued throughout the years, including during Mr. Combs' 10-year relationship with his girlfriend, Cassie Ventura. According to Ms. Ventura's civil complaint, this Rico Enterprise continued in her relationship when Mr. Combs forced her to carry his gun in her purse, forced her to engage in unwanted sexual acts with male prostitutes, sex workers, forced her to consume dangerous amounts of ecstasy, cocaine, GSB, ketamine, marijuana, and alcohol, and paying a member of his security team $5,000 to blow up the vehicle of Kid Cudi because he was jealous of, jealous and insecure of their relationship. This thing's getting hit with the Rico, y'all. I'm telling you. The Rico enterprise continued from September 2022 to the present day as evidenced by the hundreds of hours of video and audio recordings in the plaintiff's possession. <laughs> Defendants Sean Combs, Justin Combs, Christina Kay, his assistants and staff all orchestrated, participated, managed, and executed the Rico Enterprise by purchasing and distributing ecstasy, cocaine, GHB, ketamine, marijuana, and mushrooms by purchase and distributing firearms by oh my God! By requiring the solicitation of sexual encounters with prostitutes, sex workers, and minors, and by forcing artists, creatives, musicians, and producers to utilize their talents, labor, produce, and same thing again, right? Uh, the enterprise was characterized by the defendant's pattern of false representation, omissions made by the defendant, Sean Cohn, Justin Cohn, Christina K, and all the others, blah, 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 same thing. As part of the scheme, defendants required their artists, creative musicians, producers to visit strip clubs wearing exclusive authentic bad boy merchandise and to use the name and reputation of Mr. Cohn to solicit workers and prostitutes. Additionally, Mr. Combs used the prospects of winning Grammy Awards, purchasing. Additionally, Mr. Combs used the prospects of winning Grammy Awards, purchasing twenty million dollar homes, participating in the future, participating in future projects, and making two hundred and fifty thousand dollar cash payments, and meeting into influential music industry executives such as defendants Lucian Charles Grange in Ethiopia. This pattern of false representation was disseminated to artists, creatives, musicians, and producers who reside in California, Florida, New York, and all and around the country by the defendants based in California and New York under the direction and on behalf of the defendants in New York. The dissemination 
excuse me, typically use interstate telephone wires, social media messages, and electronic mail. They making sure this dude game with the Rico. The true nature of the defendant's scheme was left undisclosed, was admitted, and or was affirmatively represented it, all to fraudulently increase defendant's profits, at least some of which were used to expand the enterprise, causing further injury to Plaintiff Jones and other unwitting artists, creators, musicians, and producers. Defendant profited from the enterprise and Plaintiff Jones suffered because the enterprise diminished Plaintiff Jones finances due to 13 months of non-payment and diminished Plaintiff, Plaintiff Jones health through consistent drugging and forced sexual encounters with prostitutes and sex workers. Defendants used the proceeds from the scheme to advance the scheme by funding and operate their marketing machine, including through the use of the mail, social media, word of mouth, and interstate wires to sell the illusion that Mr. Combs was serious about the talents and skills of, excuse me, of the artists, creative musicians, and producers and wanted to use those skills to make music when nothing could be further from the truth. Defendants provided their artists, creatives, same shit all over again. All this shit is repeating and repeating. Robin Greenhill, the accountant, would ensure the wiring funds transfer or cash payments to the sex workers. Oh, shit. Oh, Lord. Okay, Robin Greenhill, the accountant, would ensure the writing funds, I mean, ensure the wiring, fund transfer, or cash payments to the sex workers. Frankie Santella, Moy Bond, Brenda Paul, and KK would also be responsible for ensuring payment to sex workers in cash. Young Miami, Jade, and Daphne Joy, ain't that 50 baby mother? Oh, shit. Whoa. Whoa. 50 baby mother. Young Miami, Jay, and Daphne Joy were paid a monthly fee to work as Mr. Cone's sex workers and received payment via wire transfer from Robin Greenhill, which outlined the defendant's ongoing criminal operation. During the 10 years preceding the filing of this action and to the present, all defendants did cooperate jointly and severely in the commission of three or more of the predicate acts that itemized at 18 USC, as described in this complaint. Beginning at an exact date unknown to plaintiff, but within 10 years preceding the file of this action, defendants have un, have knowingly, will, willfully, and unlawfully participated in pattern of racketeering activity that continues to this day. Puff got some problems, boy. The accent below had the same pattern and purpose to defraud 
plaintiff for the benefit of the defendants. Each racketeering act involves the same or similar methods of commission and participants. Defendants committed multiple acts of mail fraud in violation of 18 USC and furtherance of the enterprise. Defendants voluntarily and intentionally devised and participated in a scheme to defraud plaintiffs out of money and reliance on the mail. Defendants committed these acts with the intent to defraud plaintiff Jones and the artists, creators, musicians, and producers. Defendants used the mail for the purpose of executing the fraudulent screen herein. Specifically, defendants agreed to each of the acts of mail fraud described throughout this complaint. In addition, defendant agreed to rely on the mail to secure wire frauds, cash payments for purchases of the illegal firearms and drugs defendants require others to sell and distribute. Yo, this nigga, yo. This nigga right here? In the furtherance of and for purposes of execute, executing the above described fraudulent and illegal course of conduct and scheme to defraud, defendants either individually or in combination with themselves used and caused to be used by the U.S. mail by both placing and causing to be Place cash letters, marketing materials, advertising agreements, and other and other matters, and depositories, and or by removing or causing to remove letters and other mailable matters from depositories and violations of the mail fraud statute. Defendants committed multiple acts of wire fraud and violation of 18 USC. Same thing. Second cause of action, sexual assault and sexual harassment against Mr. Combs. Mr. Jones incorporates by reference all preceding paragraphs and realleges them as if set forth fully herein. As described above, Mr. Combs frightened and placed the plaintiff in apprehension of harm when physically and sexually assaulted him from October 2022 from October 2022 to October 2023 in Mr. Combs' home in Miami, New York, United States Virgin Islands in Los Angeles. Mr. Combs forcibly touched and attempted and or threatened to touch plaintiff's intimate areas and touch plaintiff with his own intimate body parts. Mr. Combs violently gripped and palmed Mr. Jones' anus and crotch without consent. Mr. Combs forced Mr. Jones to work in Mr. Combs' bathroom and watch Mr. Combs as he showered. Mr. Combs forced Mr. Jones to work in the studio while Mr. Combs stripped naked to get his body massaged. Mr. Combs forced Mr. Jones to work while Mr. Combs walked around naked. As a result, of Mr. Combs' conduct, plaintiff has suffered and continues to suffer harm, and including physical injury, several emotional distress, humiliation, anxiety, and other consequential damages for which he is entitled to an onward to an award of monetary damages and other relief. The conduct of Mr. Combs described above is willful, wanted, and malicious. At all relevant times, Mr. Combs acted with conscious disregard for the plaintiff's rights and feelings, acted 
with the knowledge of or with reckless disregard for the fact that his conduct was certain to cause injury and or humiliation to plaintiff and intended to cause fair physical injury Damages shall include, but not be limited to all damages permitted under the New Jersey Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organization Act. Where was that? Physical injury and or pain suffering to the plaintiff. By virtue of the foregoing, plaintiff is entitled to recover punitive damages. Third cause of action. California's bystanders negligent infliction of emotional distress against Mr. Combs and defendant Justin Combs. Mr. Jones incorporates by referencing all preceding paragraphs and realleges them as if set forth fully herein. Mr. Jones brings this claim against Mr. Combs and Justin Combs for the studio shooting of G. Do anybody know who G is by this point, by this time now? Anybody? Has anybody found out who G is at this point? Who is G? Anybody? Righteously, you know who G is? G. Robinson? Are you guessing? G. Robinson, that's who got shot? Man, nah, I would have heard that. This nigga said G. That. Nigga, wait. I, Pinky BX, man, go back to sleep, nigga. You still on medicine. This nigga talking about G, G death. This nigga said G death. Oh, my God. Who is G? Nobody know who G is? It'll come out. Mr. Jones brings claims that against Mr. Combs and Justin Combs for the CRS shooting of G. The elements of a bystander, NIED, are is closely related to the injury victim. Is closely related to the injury victim. So Mr. Jones is close to. G. All right, we're going to find out who G is in a second. Is present at the time of the scene. You know what? Hold on. Let's see something here. This might be a stretch. I got to find that, that dude's Instagram. I'll find out exactly who uh, G is. Right off that, that, that nigga Instagram, watch. That's going to be easy. Let me see.
Oh, here we go. Wait, what's his uh This is the guy here, y'all. That is, uh, have the, oh, look, he got Puff right there on his page. Let's see. What's his Instagram? Little Raw made it. What's the date of that shooting? Let's see. The page is at 45. What is the date of the shooting? the data that shooting September 2022. Oh, this thing is slick. Okay, he posted the picture from that day. Okay, let's see if G is in this picture. And so, uh, is that a coincidence? He posted the picture from the studio that day?
Here we go. That's Lou DeRoy with the guitar, I'm assuming. And could this be G right in front of him? And this is why he posted this picture. This is the same day of the shooting, y'all, in the studio. What do y'all think? Y'all think that's G right there? Anybody know these people? Could that be G right there? This is September 20th. And they in the studio. It's the day of the shooting. He do look like Tory Lanez. I want to see some. Trying to find the uh the joint with the uh the shooting scene. Man shot outside of Hollywood recording studio. I say September 20th, 12. Oh, here we go. That what is that? Are those are pants or a shirt. No clues there. All right, third course of action. The elements of bystander, I read that part. As detailed above, Mr. Jones was two feet away from G. As either Justin Combs or Sean Combs shot him multiple times in the restroom of the studio. As detailed above, Mr. Jones was the only individual that aided G 
as he laid on the bathroom floor in a fetal position, bleeding out. As detailed above, Mr. Combs and Justin Combs orchestrated a cover-up and through Fahim Muhammad lied to Los Angeles Police Department and forced Mr. Jones and all the other attendees of the writers' camp to lie to police as well. Mr. Combs and Justin Combs knew that they shot G in the restroom and that G was shot and he was leaving the studio. Mr. Combs and Justin Combs' intentional deception caused a delay in G receiving immediate medical care. As the ambulance parked three blocks away from the studio out of fear that there was an active shooting, Mr. Jones had to run down the block and convince them that the shooting had ended. These events traumatized Mr. Jones. It caused Mr. Jones to suffer from insomnia, post-traumatic stress syndrome, severe anxiety, and depression. Additionally, the fear and the silence from the remaining witnesses aided in the reinforcement of Mr. Cohn's statements that he is in, untouchable. As, as a result of Mr. Cohn's and Justin Cohn's conduct, Plaintiff Jones has suffered and continues to suffer harm, including severe emotional distress, anxiety, and other consequen consequential damages for which he is entitled to an award of monetary damages and other relief. The conduct of Mr. Combs and Ms. and Justin Combs described above is willful, wanton, and malicious. At all relevant times, Mr. Combs and Justin Combs acted with conscious disregard for the plaintiff's rights and feelings, acted with the knowledge of or with reckless disregard for the fact that their conduct was certain to cause injury to the plaintiff and intended to cause fear, physical injury, and or pain and suffering to the plaintiff. By virtue of the foregoing, plaintiff is entitled to recover punitive damages. The fourth cause of action, sexual assault against Jane Doe 1, Young Miami's cousin. Mr. Jones incorporated by referencing all preceding paragraphs and realleges them as if set forth fully herein. As described above, Jane Doe frightened and placed plaintiff in apprehension of harm when she physically and sexually assaulted him on Thanksgiving Day 2022 in Mr. Combs' home in Miami, Florida. Let's see if he got some pictures. Damn, what I said this thing that Instagram was. Oh, yeah. The raw made it. See, this is the thing I understand, man. Even after the shooting, you're still in the studio with this dude, right? Yeah. You're on the yacht with this nigga, chilling after the shooting. Nigga done shot your boy, and now you on the yacht with him chilling with French. That's the part that I, I don't be getting about these, these guys that come out and complain.
out of the same bars. Now, niggas done, you, all the sexual stuff that's going on and all that stuff. January 2023. You doing it up for the gram with this nigga. This is his post. January 29th, 2023. Where they at? They can't mess with us. And he tagging Diddy on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's the energy after... Like, I'm not victim shaming or nothing. I'm just saying. If... This is what he's doing to y'all. Why are you there? If it's that bad, why are you there? If it's that bad, March 31st, 2023, less than a year ago. He doing all this stuff to you, making you go out and have sex with these sex workers, drugging you, and all this stuff. And you sitting in the studio with this nigga? Wouldn't be me. And here you go with the exclusive bad boy hat on. I guess when you uh, get to pick up the girls. Look, he got the, hat, the bad boy hat on. Look, that's the bad boy act. And that was Miami. And that was in May. That was for his birthday. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, I just found something interesting, y'all.
This lawsuit was filed this week, Monday. I wonder when he stopped being around Diddy. Because August, yo, bro, August. 18, 2023. All of a sudden, this nigga's on tour with who? How is that, y'all? Y'all see this? He just running around with Diddy, and now at August 20, 18, 2023, look where he, he's at. Look who he's with. Nigga, do y'all know who that is? Wait a minute, bro. Y'all don't know who the final lap tour was? Oh, Courtney's hip. And now 50's doing Surviving Diddy? Y'all see this? So he leaves Puff, a lawsuit comes, he's on fire on the final lap tour, and then here comes surviving Diddy. Okay. Is that a coincidence? I got to look at this nigga just a little bit suspect now. And then he's not with Diddy no more after that. Wait a minute. Let's see. How did this thing go on tour with 50? Publishing. I can start his efforts with three other human beings. He's doing it on tape. I like his backstory. He's going to have everything. It's hard to work with him unless we have some piece of shit music that he's supposed to do. Not that he has a hell of a mess. He can work with him. Yeah, but ain't got much shit in there. Ain't working with his kingdom, so he can't control his bad shit. 
Oh, this might be a play a part of it too. Look at this. Little Ron ain't worth giving his kingdom to if we don't control his publishing. I can solve his efforts with three other human beings. He's eating at our table, and I like his backstory, but you need to have other people. It's hard to work with him unless we have his pro. He's a piece of shit human, but we do not need his talent unless we can work with him. Hell, hey, because I run shit in this So I said, I run shit. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Little Rod ain't worth giving this kingdom to if we don't control his publishing. I can solve his efforts with three other human beings. He's eating at our table, and I like his backstory, but you need to have other people. It's hard to work with him unless we have his pro. He's a piece of shit human, but we do not need his talent unless... We can work with him. Yeah, but hey, because I want shit in this bitch. So I said, I want shit in this That might have did it right there. That's February 3rd, Grammy night. That might have did it right there. And they talking about taking his publishing. And then February 7th, this is where we get. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm a, ask to anyone, this video may be embarrassing too. Um, let's just jump right into it. Some of you may know me or may not. I'm a music producer who's a writer and musician. Um, different genres. I started in the gospel and jazz and, and R&B and work my way over to the hip hop side. I've been working on an album. Um, I took a year off straight working on this album. That album is the love album off the grid by Diddy. Um, and it's Grammy nominated right now as we speak. Um, I should be um, celebrating, but the truth is I'm not. Taking this album on has required so much time, um, you know, months and at, at a time, 16 hours, 24 hours a day. Um, sometimes, you know, Diddy would request certain works to be done and tell us don't go to sleep until it's done. And and the truth is we'll be up for days trying to accomplish that. I've tried to get my business straight with them on this album, but the truth is they're not playing fair. They, they hit me on below the belt on so many situations just 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 dealing with this it's, it's the contract that they gave me and the offer that they gave me was just disgusting the the the, the producer fee pennies and on top of that these guys are trying to steal my publishing i can't go for this so i'm fighting back he's a fighter um but i'm 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 gonna put in this fight i gotta do it for myself my rights and most importantly my kids taking my publishing or stealing it is it's just it's, I'm not going to let that happen. Not going to let that happen. Again, this is one of those projects that, that took so much time from me. I miss holidays uh, with my family just out working on this album. At one point, I was running around with the, the hard drives, the computer, just to run the ball on this album and to finish the production on it and make sure that this album came to you know, a good project with good vibes, you know, just where it is right now. Um, and just to be offered little to no participation in this is highly disrespectful. I won't be that guy 20, 30 years from now, looking back saying, I wish I'd done this. I want to do this now. Um, doing this situation is not easy. Taking Puff to court, suing him is not easy. I don't have the 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 monies that it's going to take to fight him in court. So I'm just asking, you know, if you if you in support, please. The link is in my bio to my GoFundMe. Um, the the money we go will go towards my attorney fees and to just make sure I'm keeping my head above water during the process. I really appreciate this. Thank you so much. I apologize to any. Hello, everyone. Um, 
Until further notice, I will not be performing at any gig. Yeah, I want to take my. Hello, everyone. Um, until further notice, I will not be performing at any gigs or anything like that. Um, for security reasons, my family, friends, and everyone close to me it just feels like there's a lot of potential threats, and everybody's just telling me what he's allegedly capable of. And, you know, it's very scary um, for myself, and you know, it has me worried about my kids, and you know, just sleeping with anxiety and different things like that so we're just moving forward um just gonna pause on everything until we know that it's, it's, it's clear and safe for me to come back outside of work i appreciate uh, you all for your love and support and everybody that knows me on saturday thank you so much love I feel so bad for these people, man. I really feel so bad for these people, man. Because the popular crowd or the motherfuckers that's still going to go over and eat nuts, they going to disregard him, you know, Cassie, all these people. They, they, the, they the bad guy and like for me, even myself, like I understand you want to make it. I want to. Un I understand that this is a lifetime, op once in a lifetime opportunity to get in the room and work with these people. But me, I can't. I can't be like him and be uncomfortable. Uncomfortable 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 and nigga keep grabbing on me and touching me just like the christian keys do who still hasn't come out and said nothing about the the person that got in the bed with him the grown man got in the bed with him and grabbed him by his nuts and stuff and these guys they accept oh i'm sorry oh i didn't oh i didn't know <laughs> uh, uh, you know what i'm saying because they want to check, they want to work. But for me, I'm like, F that. No, it's not worth it. Because look at him. At the end of the day, he still ain't get his money. And then they get untouched on you, got to see you naked, then walked around you naked, all kind of disrespectfulness just because he got more money than you. Or he's more famous than you. And because people, people ain't going to believe you because he's more famous than you. Shit is crazy, bro. Niggas will never believe it's real because the nigga famous. As described above, Jane Doe one frightened and placed plane of in apprehension of harm when when she physically and sexually assaulted him on Thanksgiving Day, 2022, in Mr. Combs' home in Miami, Florida. Jane Doe forcibly touched and attempted and or threatened to touch the plaintiff's intimate areas and or touch the plaintiff with her own intimate body parts. Jane Doe one used her mouth and performed oral sex on plaintiff while he was urinating in the restroom. Plaintiff fought her off while Mr. Combs and his associates sat outside loud laughing, loudly laughing. Jane Doe one then followed Mr. Jones outside of the restroom and began undressing in front of Mr. Combs and his associates, straddled Mr. Jones and attempted 
to have forced sexual intercourse with him. As a result of Jane Doe's one's conduct, plaintiff has suffered and continues to suffer harm, including physical injury, several emotional distress, humiliation, anxiety, and other consequential damages for which he is entitled to an award of monetary damages and other relief. The conduct of Jane Doe one described above is willful, wanton, and malicious. At all relevant times, Jane Doe one acted with conscious disregard for the plaintiff's rights and feelings, acted with knowledge of or with reckless disregard for the fact that her conduct was certain to case, certain to cause injury and or humiliation to plaintiff and intent intended to cause fear, physical injury and or pain and suffering to the plaintiff by virtue of the foregoing plaintiff is entitled to recover punitive damages. Premises liability for the sexual assault committed by Jane Doe, one young Miami's cousin against Mr. Combs. It's the same thing. Six cause of action, premises liability for sexual assault committed by Cuba Gooden Jr. Mr. Jones incorporates by reference all preceding paragraphs and realleges them as as if set for fully herein here mr jones was sexually assaulted by cuba gooding jr on a yacht rented by mr combs in the u.s virgin islands in january January 2023. Is that when I see him with French on the yacht? Yep. This is the, this is the, when they on the yacht. This is where they at, same bars. <laughs> Yo, you know what's so crazy, y'all? This is January, right? This is when it happened. And he's in the studio. The same studio that Cuba's groping him in and everything. And he's laughing and he's enjoying his day. He's working with the exclusive bad boy hat on. No, nigga, I'm out. Give me a flight. I'm out of here. This nigga was in there touching on me. All of this is January. All of this is January. Like, I'm not staying there. I'm not staying there, bro. All this is January. So you telling me. I'm not victim shaming or nothing. I'm just saying, man, if. Let's 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 listen to what Cuba did. 
okay, allegedly. Mr. Jones in, incorporates by referencing all preceding paragraphs and re-alleges them as said fully for hearing. Here, Mr. Jones was sexually assaulted by Cuba Gooden Jr. on a yacht rented by Mr. Jones in the U.S. Virgin Islands in January 2023. Mr. Combs was present while Mr. Jones was being assaulted by Cuba Gooden Jr. Mr. Jones was legally on the premises as a guest and an invitee of Mr. Combs. Cuba Gooden Jr. was legally on the premises as a guest and invitee of Mr. Combs. Mr. Combs owned through renting the premises and had dominion and control over the premises where Mr. Jones was hung. Mr. Combs had dominion and control over the actions of Cuba Gooden Jr. and failed to step in and stop Cuba Gooden Jr. from sexually assaulting Mr. Jones. As the owner of the property, Mr. Combs had the duty to protect Mr. Jones from the harm he suffered at the hands of Cuba Gooden Jr. Mr. Combs breached his, his duty when he failed to stop Cuba Gooden Jr. from sexually assaulting Mr. Jones. In furtherance of this breach, Mr. Combs encouraged Cuba Gooden Jr. to continue to his assault, continue his assault of Mr. Jones when he said that Cuba Gooden Jr. should privately get to know Mr. Jones better. Mr. Jones has suffered immensely because of Mr. Combs' intentional breach of his duty to him. As a result, Mr. Combs' breach of his duty, Mr. Jones has suffered and continues to suffer harm, including severe emotional distress, anxiety, and other consequential damages, but which he is entitled to award of monetary damages and other relief. Same thing, same thing, same thing. You're going to get the same thing in the next paragraph, too. To finish on Combs, Justin Combs, Christian Coran, and Combs Global knowingly and intentionally participated in perpetrated, assisted, and supported, facilitated a sex trafficking venture that was in an effective interstate and foreign commerce together with others in violation of Code 18 USC. Among other things, to finish on Combs, Justin Combs, Christian K, and Combs Global knowingly and intentionally recruited, enticed, provided, obtained, advertised, and solicited by various means, Mr. Jones, as well as other class members, knowing that knowing that the defendant Sean Combs, Justin Combs, Christian K, and Combs Global would use means of force, threats of force, fraud, coercion, and a combination of such means to cause Mr. Jones, as well as others, some of whom were under the age of 17 to engage in commercial sex acts. <sighs> the finish Sean Combs, Justin Combs, blah, 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 and provided Mr. Jones as well as others whom were under the age of six, 17 into commercial sex acts through the means of force threats of force, fraud, abuse, and process, and coercion. Oh, my God. As a part of perpetrating TVP violations between on or about September 12, 2022 and throughout November 2023, defendant Sean Combs, Justin Combs, Christina Caron, and Combs Global concealed his delivery of hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash to Mr. Combs and his associates. Also willingly failed to file required taxes with federal government. The conduct was outrageous and intentional on or about January 2023, Justin Combs engaged in a freak off session on a yacht with his father and sex workers. 
This nigga is freaking off with his son, bro. They caused Mr. Jones serious harm, including without limitation, physical, psychological, emotional, financial, and reputational harm. All this sex trafficking stuff, puff ass is fucked. I just hate to say it. This dude, I don't know if he realized that this following this, this civil suit put him at risk for criminal charges too. Like, I don't need do he realize that that this civil suit opens him up for criminal charges? Cause he carried out a lot of illegal stuff that he accusing them of, but he he was in participation of it. He could say he was forced all he wanted and all that stuff. I want to see what this studio look like. I might have to do it on the Google Maps. Let's see. How are you going to say they did a drive-by shooting over here? <laughs> that nigga going to jail, bro. Oh, no, man. They, yo, your boy is screwed. You hear me? He is screwed. Mr. Jones incorporates by referencing all preceding paragraphs. 
At all times herein within mention, defendants, LR, Love Records, Motown Records, Universal Music Group, Chelsea's recording, Chalice Recording Studio, and Sean Combs acted in the course of scope of their agency, employee, and representation of each other, and with the knowledge, consent, this direction, approval, and ratification of each other's act. Blah, 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 blah. Get to the detail. Justin Combs and Sean Combs for the possession of the firearms when they entered Chalice Recording Studios. Defendants negligently failed to keep take the steps to either provide adequate security and make the condition safe or warn plaintiff of the dangerous condition or da dangerous condition, all of which caused plaintiffs to suffer injuries. As approximate as a proximate result of the negligence of the defendant and each of them plaintiff was hurt and injured in his health strength and activity sustained injuries to their nervous system and person all of which injuries have caused and continue to cause plaintiff great mental physical and nervous pain and suffering as a result of such injuries plaintiff has suffered general damages in amount according to proof. This is, he going for the gusto. The ninth cause of action, aiding and embedding and inducing a sex trafficking venture and violating the Traffic Victims Protection Act. Yo, bro, this is way, way, way. If y'all don't think that Puff is going to get a criminal indictment, you got another goddamn thing coming. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man, if you really think that pff, criminal charges is not getting ready to follow all of this, wait for it. You wait for it. It's coming. It might be here sooner than we think. What I said yesterday, by Thanksgiving, That nigga might not be able to make plans for Memorial Day. I just feel a little bit of way about how Rodney was staying around throughout all these complaints. I, I couldn't, I could, after Cuba Gooding, I would have been out of there. Like, it, it was so many red flags that would have had my ass out of there, bro. Do you hear me? This is, this is, this, and the fact that Justin's all over this like this. I wonder what his mother got to say. It's, it's, yo, bro, somebody, Puff is going to get indicted. I'm telling you, you're about to see a Rico, and you're going to see a bunch of bad boy artists and security motherfuckers uh, get arrested. Watch. Or oh, oh, not artists, but like staff members, just like in R. Kelly situation. Everybody ain't get go to jail. But motherfuckers got snatched up. And, and those who got snatched up, it was either you going to tell or you going to jail. What you going to do? And ain't too many people going to jail for Puff. As you can see, not too many people went to jail for R. Kelly.
I show. <laughs> I told y'all months ago, Rico was gonna come down on Puff. I told y'all months ago, that shit is around the corner, Jack. And this dude was on tour with 50. Bro. This dude was on tour with 50, man. That ain't no coincidence. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. Y'all be stingy with them likes. If you new here, please subscribe to the channel. Choke no joke. Y'all know what it is, man. I catch y'all on the AM. I got some joints dropping tonight for all those who missed them. All right? 11 o'clock, another joint will be up in that midnight. But um, Diddy, I know you saw this nigga on tour with 50. Can you imagine the talk, the stories that Rodney told 50? I'll get back to this. I'll definitely get back to this. What page we on? Let me write it down. Joe, no joke, man. I'll see y'all tomorrow, man. Diddy, it's over now. Put it up. Pain is the pain. Yeah. Yeah. Palm tree to trees and the palms of dealers and fiends. Late night roam the streets. Weed is weaker, but it's cheaper. Not many chicks frontin' like divas. Out west, every chick's a model like Eva. And you know I'm far from believing her. So I'm g her like she g me. Banging in L.A. is a different thing. At the end, you either dead on the bang. Getting out. Doing better things on sunset where they hang Hollywood where they hustle for change Times Square here it's the same No matter where you go you'll find the lane On the west they kick it with cane On the east trees the souls you think East Coast, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast Grab your raps, roll it up If you rap, West Coast East Coast, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast. Grab your glasses, take a toast. If you rep East Coast, when I'm on the West and I'm doing my thing, no offer me coke or your nose I bang. Friends don't offer other deadly things. Thanks for the hospitality, we'll still hang. I won't judge you, leave me as I came. On the road to success, top of the game. All the finer things in the food chain Teach my kids to do the same Whether East Coast, West Coast East Coast, West Coast Grab your raps, roll it up If you rap, West Coast East Coast, West Coast East Coast, West Coast Grab your glasses, take a toast If you rap, East Coast Gotta love life and all for wonderful things Being the travel is a privileged thing Came back to the east, air wasn't fresh Streets filled with trash, various people in the eye It's easy to tell who's up a middle class Police and racism, same as crash Back to where they not social, where they less vocal When they don't know you, be careful, show you around the East Coast, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast Grab your raps, roll it up. If you rap, East Coast, whether East Coast, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast.
pop your bottles and toss the cork. If you rep West Coast, both coasts are known to give you fame. Got Papa Ross, he's playing cam is your way. Got you bobbing and weaving like cash is clay. Most thugs turn Muslim in older days. Change their name to a law they pray. Probably till they decay. This go out to the east and west. For big and pop, y'all, let's connect. Rather East Coast, West Coast, East Coast. West Coast, grab your raps, roll it up. If you rap, West Coast, brother, East Coast, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast. You can't get the West without the ES, so it's manifested that we connect. Uh, you know what it is. Choke, no joke, learn from mistakes, baby. You know what it is. Greg on the track, rest in peace, baby. Either war we in now. You know what it is. Joe, no joke, welcome to the smile treatment, you know. No joke, Jack Brown. Yeah, now. Choke, no joke, Jack Brown. Yeah. This what ATL in New York sound like. Let's go. Y'all hating ass niggas, I see y'all. Show get busy, that's why I got the crown. Hate in the air. You clowns, I see the envy that you breed, jealousy. What you need is your own damn hustle. Stop worrying about mine. Nigga, I'm popping cause I put in time. Came out modeling, camera in hand. Still get busy with the mic in hand. Streets pulled out, niggas got sprayed. Niggas turn on you when they see you get paid. The intimidation in your face. Where's the love? What's taking place? You want my gold and my ducats. Cause my money overflowing out of buckets. Shot him in public, made people holler. Scar on his face for the money and the power. I'm the choker. Choker. The truth in the industry made me the choker. Choker. The truth in the industry made me the The game at me fool got in was young So talent made you rich, damn was dumb More to make, cake from crumbs You gotta be sweet, G or native tongue My heartbeat went into overload When Larry tried to turn me into a mole Told me show my curly to the CEO I didn't think it's funny so his jaw hit the floor And grabbed that chair that broke his back then realize that's a hate attack Harassment comes assault, you in the maze No way out, like Puff and Mace Touch me, tease me, I catch a case Nigga, you ain't straight as your poker face Father, Lord, God, in that game I fold This sun don't tick, demon time don't hold I'm the Choker 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 the truth in the industry made me the choker. 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 The truth in the industry made me the choker. Choker. The truth in the industry made me the choker. Choker. On the ones and twos, choker. What y'all want to do? I'm here now. Eat a wall, stand up. Shout out to the bomb squad. Stay the don't follow those cats.
Niggas that be on the gram. Tell for what would they do it? <laughs> Choco Joe, you know what it is. Yo, y'all niggas with a stay DL. Down low. Stop flossing, man. What you, you, what you just. You just want them to just come and get you. Learn from our mistakes, man. That's what this is about. Learn from mistakes. Choco no Joe, let's go. You already know. Make it low, let's go. My aim was enlightened. Drop jewels on you. Thinking I'm jealous, I ain't got cheddar like you. I'm the dude to a game, you got school. Was a local cat, snatch you when I made moves. I'm paranoid and preaching, you was sleeping. Knew you was sneak deep and couldn't see us beefing. Learn from mistake, don't show I got cake. Impress a nigga to rob me, bitch still my fate. Get knocked by the fans, lay up four by eight. Ass so busy flossing, ain't thinking about Jake. Loose, yapping, they wiretapping. Video taping, your ways in action. Front like Tom's hard, got a two door garage. Ice like Liberage, with no damn jaw. Without a reasonable doubt, you think you Jay Z with your platinum jewelry. He got a job, B. You shining on doctors with four degrees. Laughing because I'm broke, I'm broke on the streets. Stay DL, BDL and Sal. You ain't DL when your name ain't Bell. Stay DL, BDL and Sal. You ain't DL when your name ain't Bell. We not dolo for cash, you go solo. Thought I was your man, shot me down like Manolo. Thought I was your partner when you played me was whack. No niggas dust that I wouldn't flip like that. What gives? See your man struggle while you live? That's some shit, struggling. Give you the kicks, used to stick for gooses. Warm when we pump deuces, bring night in the jacks, trying to see millions like Brewster. You don't act like you used to, I'm the dude. When niggas was friends, you like, yo, Joe, come through. I wet you like McClain for those who claim to be pain. The game of death, that's what you get with got game. Ill with automatics, we're never static. You carry that niggas, put one in your cabbage. Fear, don't have it, you fill me with laughter. In no GSC, they don't worry, you got clapper. Like Dan get dapper, see a mill be Casper. They trade the doctor, the map for map. Stay DL, BDL and Sal. You ain't DL when your name ain't Bell. Stay DL, BDL and Sal. You ain't DL when your name ain't With your pockets, cop the ice locket. Yeah. She's somewhere in Houston, you blew like a rocket. Her seed was bait, through the line she caught it. Gave her all that loot, but she couldn't afford it. Praying to them bitches, y'all feeling him. Blue puff in your face, daddy, all about Benjamin. Remember me, I'm your friend to the end. Like Chucky, used to slay bitches like Buffy. Thinking why they cuff me, think of the luxuries you had. In the cell with other willies, you brag. Push the big bends with 20 year trims. Went in the club, Chris for all my men. Sitting across the bar, what's up, star? Back to reality, you back in bars. You chose not to listen, had the age class glisten. Knew the rules of the game, you played yourself on position. Stay DL, BDL is L. You ain't DL when your name ain't Bell. Stay DL, BDL is L. You ain't DL when your name ain't Bell. Stay DL, BDL is Shun, yo, shun, yo, shun, yo, shun, yo, me, yo, see, you ain't noticed me, yo, I all see, all these man. diamonds and stuff, yo, how can I not, fat die? diamond ring I got, oh yeah, my man had to come through, and make sure it went through, y'all niggas is in trouble, choke no joke, I ain't no joke to mix it. We here now. You already know. Let's go. Choke chillin', gotta wait for them billin'. Ain't shit really changed though. I'm 
still that villain I'm making money with rhyme Fuck black on black crime Beef and money don't mix Like Muslims and swine I'm talking milk, penicillin Y'all be illin' Y'all be thinking y'all killers With your school face grillin' Kick that bullshit to me Y'all be wet though like Bruce Lee And Brandon and Hearst On the highway to heaven Man, you making mad threats And stuck in one section I'm OBP like Naughty Making connections Talking under your breath Get you something you don't need Two fully loaded max Filled up with heat Nigga, you sweeter than 30 days for a body Pop shit to these niggas See me walk by me But I ain't looking for no beef I don't eat bologna But I bring a whole cow If you run up on me Shiesty Try me and hype me To peel your wig back Like 10 cent icy Bring it, stop bluffing, I got your threats, they mean nothing I respond like Vaughn, I come through, I'm bombing Playing bodega, flipping Montega You tanning the Jacks, I tan in Jamaica Vega, when bust if he raped ya Your chick got blazed up, hit it like Jada Why you blew up a pager, had a brief like Vader Your star at war with the lightsaber, I'm here to lyrically tear you rare, nigga, you a spear I jack you up, now you out of here Throw me on the 600 Now fucking nigga hum it Blowing down a fab with a bad bitch blunted I take it there Y'all niggas don't want it Y'all niggas don't want it Y'all niggas don't want it with no joke Who you thought it be? Represent the NYYC Bring it on if you niggas want some of me Have y'all niggas feeling it like Jay-Z uh, No joke, who you thought it be? Represent the NYYC Bring it on if you niggas want some of me Bronze King like the L-O-R-D F-I-N-E-S-S-E uh, And that bullshit y'all do Y'all niggas don't stress me Oh yeah and you already know, eat and war what it is. Uh. Choke, no joke. I ain't no joke. The mixtape. We here now. Elizabeth, what up, baby girl? Thanks for joining the team. Got the choke, no joke. Stay Elizabeth B in the building. Okay, lady. I appreciate you, much love. You know what it is. Uh, uh, this one go out to the ladies. Joke, no joke. Joke. You already know. <laughs> Y'all know I love that cooch. You know who this is. I love that cooch. Uh -huh. it's, uh, yeah. It's the A thing. Clean cooch. Let's go. Yo, what's up? My nuts when I wake up. Got morning wood and I just bust one. And my hog and knee, I'm Ron Osley. Between the sheets, and she want to ski. And just shout with me with what I thought was pee. She rolled the D, her water broke B. Not pregnant, but baptized me. I'm down for more love, but change the sheet. She said, please, I want more. Next thing I know, mattress dripping the floor from her juices. Oral had me stoned, had a Korean and Medusa at one. And when I look in the eyes, between her thighs, I tell you no lie, ain't shit won't buy. I rob and take it for me to taste it. Red lobster, pussy, biscuit, freshly baked. Uh, eat that coochie all night. She spray my face like sugar spray. I love her. I eat her coochie all night. She sprayed my face like sugar spray. I love her. Suck my nuts when I wake up. Got morning wood and I just bust one. And my hog and knee, I'm Ron Osley. Between the sheets, and she want to ski. And just shout with me with what I thought was pee. She rolled the D, her water broke B. Not pregnant, but baptized me. I'm down for more love, but change the sheet. She said, please, I want more. Next thing I know, mattress dripping the floor from her juices. Oral had me stoned, had a Corinne and Medusa at one. And when I look in her eyes, between her thighs, I tell you no lie, ain't shit won't buy. I rob and take it for me to taste it. Red lobster, pussy, biscuit, freshly baked. Uh, eat that coochie. 
Choke, no joke. Good night, good night, good night. I see y'all in the AM. You know what it is, man. Much love. Shout out to all the memberships. People that joined the membership gang. You know what I mean? Elizabeth just joined the team. You know what it is. Choke, no joke. I love y'all, man. Good night. All right. Tap the join button at the top of the video channel. That's how you do it. Show no joke. I catch you on the AM, all right? One love.